Hey, what's up? Well, I got this new deck that I really want to use. The Golden Girls Turret. So, I know that it's late. It's like 1 in the morning. But I don't give a shit. I'm going to do it anyways. So, stay tuned. And I will do a reading for the sign of Taurus. You know why. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay. So, let me spray my little spice. This is sage spray. Too bright, can't see it, but it's sage spray. And then, let me light my sage also. Yes, so I'm going to do the sign of Taurus. And the sign of Taurus is the... Oh, shit. Emperor card and the um, the tarot cards. So yes, the Emperor is the Major Arcana, number four. Don't want it to burn me. Snap. I love Sage. I love Sage a lot. Put it here, my little. Yes, so I put it here in my little, you know, cauldron. So cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to begin shuffling my cards. And we'll see what I get for you. But in the meantime, let's talk about Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign, um, meaning that it's like the pentacles. Um, it's earth energy has something to do with grounding, um, you know, your feet touching the ground at all times. Um, sometimes you can forget to have fun. It's known as the bull. Um, the stubborn horses, they always want to be one way and they're never wrong. But in the end, they always mean, um, like, wow. Well. Um, they always have good intentions. They're just assholes about it. Um... And the nighttime is the best time. Daydreamer and night thinker. And eh, like that one, huh? So let's see how this one goes. Shuffling my cards one more time. And I'll do a three card spread for the sign of Taurus. Let's see what we have for mid October 2020. My earthly little friends. You're too little. I'm just kidding. And. Eh. Okay, so once again, I'm going to use the Golden Girls Tarot Deck. Yes, the Golden Girls from the TV show. If you're old as fuck, you'll remember it. If you're not, do your own research. But anyways, like I said, three card spread. Let's shuffle it one more time. Split the deck. Okay, ready? So, one, two, and three. Okay, so for the first card that we have is the Six of Cups. See? So, yes. Six of Cups. And we have the Three of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords in reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Strength. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that, you know, you've been um, doing a lot of thinking about the past, you know? Um, with all these retrogrades going on. Um, I feel like you have been, um, you know, thinking that it wasn't too bad after all. Um, probably thinking about some good times and um, you know maybe you are in a long relationship or if you're not in a long relationship maybe you're thinking about your past relationships that you have since this is the past so it's like um, you're just doing a lot of thinking about you know 
you know maybe there's a particular lover that um, you're missing from the past and you're obviously thinking about the good times that you've had and um, maybe it wasn't too bad as you have been um, portraying on the relationship and um, you know it looks like they were fruitful like there were good times since there's these six cups and the pink flowers there means that there was like a lot of love or possibly that you're wearing rose-colored glasses um, meaning that you're like still blinding yourself to the fact that maybe not is all like good you know don't forget why you guys had trouble also but also learn how to grow from it if you're considering the past because we have the three of pentacles as your next card so the three of pentacles saving like to me um this is cooperation this was working together you know as you can see they have like their little mixing going on with all their baking okay um yes so these women are obviously in the kitchen and another thing that i am noticing is that these are women so perhaps you've been um you know thinking that you probably have left your significant other in the past um, you probably did a lot of like running around solo, you know, uh, maybe with your friends, maybe working, maybe just, you know, you were just busy doing other things. Um, you need to, you didn't prioritize your relationship the way you should have. And, um, you know, maybe you were leaving her, um, with her girls too much and they were just mingling, interfering, you know, outside interferences or, um, maybe, um, they didn't get to go with their friends and that's what they wanted, you know, it was a little bit of freedom, just that girl time space. And it's like, um. You're trying to change your way of thinking, you know, the Ace of Swords in reverse, because you notice that the way that you have been working, um, it has been working actually against you. And um, it's good for you to take notice of that, because sometimes your way of thinking um, and your way of... Like, some people don't realize that your mind is very powerful. And if you're always, um, you know, stuck in your own, like, thinking um, a certain way, then you're a bonehead. I'm just kidding. Or a bird brain. Um... But anyways, like I said, like if you're stuck um, in a certain way of thinking and you can't evolve, then you're going to get left behind or you're going to get stagnant in whichever way you're supposed to move forward. You know, you're going to get lost because everything has to evolve. Everything has to transform. Nothing stays the same forever and needs to grow or it dies, gets cut off or left behind. You know, uh, that's why a lot of things um, go to shit, because a lot of people don't understand that everything needs to be um, transformed it doesn't stay the same it has to grow it gets boring and old and it's just nonsense you know so it's like you're having the strength um, you know with everything that you have and the wisdom that you've learned to move forward into your next um, you know and for me not paying attention <laughs> this card is underneath so I'm gonna give it to you guys and it is the nine of Pentacles and as you can see there's a woman here and she has all those Pentacles underneath and she's just chilling in the beach so how I take it is like she has all this you know, like you have all this um, wealth or you're doing good financially, but it's like the only thing missing is love. So you're kind of like tired of being single, um, tired of being alone. Um, maybe you're just doing a lot of internalizing and realizing that um, money's not everything. Wealth isn't everything when it comes down to, you know, the nighttime and what's on your mind and what you're thinking about. Um, I think it means more to you than anything else. So think about it. Okay, Taurus, that's what I have for you today in the... Mid-October 2020. Bye.